Hi everyone, this is Lee Veris bringing you another Phototech Tuesday. <laughs> yeah, well, that is one big, wide, uncanny valley. Uh, we've all seen the amazing results of the numerous text-to-image AI rendering software. And now let's get ready for the next AI revolution. That's right, <laughs> video production is next. And things are already getting very interesting. Let's take a look at some of the things that are available right now. Most of the videos we'll be looking at started off with a mid-journey experiment. So I started with this relatively recent photo of yours truly, and I took the URL for the image that was posted to Facebook and wrote the prompt, this man with the URL, uh, hair blowing in the wind in a futuristic Blade Runner nighttime city, hyper real, cinematic, textured, bokeh, dramatic lighting, 4K, aspect ratio 16 by 9, and then I had mid-journey generate several variations like the following. <laughs> yeah, quite an improvement. I wish I looked this good, uh, but close enough. Uh, however, I needed to get a bunch of variations because uh, I need to find uh, one that's facing the camera directly. Uh, in order for the talking heads to actually work properly. So this one doesn't look quite enough like me, so I kept going until my gut here, and this, this is close enough. So with my still image now, generated out of mid-journey, now it's time to take this into DID, which stands for digital ID. Okay, so here in, uh, in DID, once you get an account and you figure that out. You can log in and you can upload your photos. So you can just drag and drop a photo up here. In my case, I've already got one here. And uh, you don't have to use your own audio. You can type text in right here and pick a voice, right? So there's a bunch of voices in here. Uh, and just for demonstration purposes, I'll, I'll pick an AI voice here. And then you type your text in and click on Generate Audio, and you will get um, uh, a, a talking head. Or you upload your own audio, drag your audio file, which is what I did. I can record my own voice. Drag the audio file in here and then click on Generate Video. So um, we have a couple of these available. Let's let's take a look at this one. This is the one that I generated Hi all. as a Hi all, Lee here, bringing you another Phototech Tuesday. <laughs> it's kind of hilarious. But... Hi all, Lee here, bringing you another Phototech Tuesday. Anyway, you can, really this is like three minutes of work and it, it takes a little while to generate the video, but not that long, I mean, a couple minutes. So um, pretty amazing stuff. So there are a bunch of other uh, sites that generate video from a still image. This one is from Genmo, and I'll put the links to these uh, sites in the description. They all do things a little bit differently. Um, this one seems to concentrate on morphing between generated keyframes, and depending on uh, the text prompt, you might get something usable or not, <laughs> like this case. Um, Anyway, so the headshot didn't seem to work well with this with Genmo, but there are other things you could do that maybe are more interesting. So starting with this still image, I got this pretty wild animation here, um, all just asking it to just generate something. Um, this one from Pika Labs is really interesting in that Pika uh, seems to concentrate more on natural motion. So you can see the, the rendering quality is a little lo-fi, uh, but this will get better, and uh, we're bound to see some really good results soon. This is the only one uh, that I've tried that actually gets realistic motion and was able to faithfully follow the text prompt, which was asking for blowing hair and falling rain. Let's look at that one more time. This is all totally AI generated, and it, the, the quality of the motion is really uh, encouraging here. Um, now, this is another one. This is from Leopix, and, and here the idea is to generate a kind of 3D live photo kind of thing from depth cues in the image. 
However, this particular image doesn't have enough depth cues to make this sort of thing work. So let's look at a, an example from another image. And you can kind of see if there's enough kind of implied depth in the image, you can get a kind of mesmerizing faux 3D kind of look out of a, a still photo. And finally, um, this one is from Kyber. And this is an interesting high quality render with really fascinating morphing effects. And it manages to capture the feeling of wind blown hair and falling rain. But it's really interesting. Take a look. Kind of interesting I, I morph from myself into Brad Pitt and back it's kind of a very cool thing anyway yeah, if you think AI photo generation uh, has created a shitstorm well AI video will turn that shitstorm into a shit hurricane you know people are using AI generated talking avatars for all kinds of things even now and the whole Instagram and TikTok channels are devoted to talking avatar videos. We cannot really put the genie back in the bottle. The question is, how do we reconcile the use of AI in creative endeavors? How do we value human created art? Does an AI creative have to pay licensing fees to all the individual works inside of a large data set? And how can you possibly figure all this out? AI models that analyze extensive amounts of existing content, identify patterns, and unify uh, acquired knowledge. And these are capable of producing images and written works that are virtually indistinguishable from those created by humans. However, it's important to recognize that these AI-generated creations are inherently derivative, and to some, extent, uh, to, to some extent, they're pretty uh, predictable. So, but this stuff is getting good enough that if we're not cautious, we may face the risk of a culture that lacks originality, where there's a wide range of products that only possess a superficial layer of human creativity. And audiences may become conditioned to not really notice what they're missing. And we can laugh about the current quality of AI video renders, but when it gets good enough, Novels, poems, and films have the power to bridge social and cultural gaps by allowing audiences to experience different perspectives. And these forms of media foster empathy. They challenge established beliefs and reveal our blind spots. With algorithms tailoring content to our own preferences, it may become easier than ever to avoid confronting uncomfortable truths. As AI continues uh, to advance, uh, it's crucial to consider its potential impact on creative expression, culture, and discourse and discussions about policy and regulation. While no one's advocating for the banning or freezing of AI, we, we've learned from the rapid growth of social media that once a technology reaches mass distribution, controlling its negative consequences becomes extremely challenging. Let's hope that the recent meeting between the White House and the major players in the AI industry helps to establish some guidelines for further developments in social policy, as well as technology. Well, <laughs> that's it for now. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you don't miss another Photo Tech Tuesday. And I'll see you next time. So bye for now.